today is September 4th, 2020. We are in one year, four days of Hurricane Dorian that destroys the lives of Abaconian and my mother also succumbed to her death after the roof fell on her. She died in hospital. And I had a reflection on my mother today when my vehicle burnt down. I don't like to tell stories that become personal to me, but this story I must tell. It is seven o'clock in the evening. I'm in my yard in Dundestan, Abaco, Bahamas. And what occurred at three o'clock today was very troublesome to Kai Mills. They try to live a good, decent life not interfering with anybody. But I'll try to do this video just in case I'm not here tomorrow. On the 1st of September 2020, the one year after Hurricane Dorian, I had a visit from the bag man of the FNM, Mr. Curling. And Mr. Curlin said he was everywhere looking for me. He didn't want to call me on the phone because he didn't want to be recorded. But he said that he would like for me to join the FNM. I said, I haven't voted FNM in over a decade. I haven't voted FNM. I don't vote that anymore. He said that Darren Henfield is in trouble and only Kai Mills can help him. He said, Kai, Darren don't have any money. I have the money. He said, in a week, we're gonna put Darren on the ground for three weeks. And I, Mr. Curling, gonna spend the money to promote Darren Henfield because we know he's in trouble because you're in the race. He said, how much does it cost for you to support Darren Henfield. You know I got the money. I said, Darren has been missing for one year. He just was in the Friendship Tabernacle for the first time in one year. He haven't spoken to the people of North Abaco. He said, that's okay, we need you. How much? I said, okay. I'll give you the price. This is the only way I will support Darren Henfield. You know I'm trying to beat him, but I will support him on this and this alone. I want you, Mr. Curlin, to get on your knees and talk to Jesus Christ, the universal God, and ask Jesus Christ to come personally to Kai Mills. I don't want Jesus to give you the message because you may get it mixed up. Let Jesus come to Kai Mills and ask Kai Mills or direct my path. And if Jesus said to Kai Mills to support Darren Henfield, I will support Darren Henfield. Other than that, I am not for sale. Sir Curlin said, I'll give you time to think about it and think about the amount. I will get back to you. I said, wait on the Lord. When Jesus talked to me, I'll come and talk to you. You don't need to come back to me. I will come to you and let you know what the Lord said. That was the 1st of September 2020. To date, the 4th of September, I was in my yard um, getting ready to take, all, take off uh, with my contractor and I saw Rudy Smith. He's a friend of the neighborhood. I haven't seen Rudy for months. So I went over to say hi, I left my car running. 
mistake, I left my camera. My camera is my buddy God. I left my camera in my car. It was gonna be a quick hi and bye to Rudy. While I was speaking with Rudy, David Henfield speed down the hill in that old breakup blue truck um, in the middle of the road. I didn't know who it was because I was back on talking to Rudy. David intervened in our conversation, wishing his uncle happy belated birthday. Then he switched to me, telling me what he's gonna do to me from what he's not gonna do to me. I got angry and Rudy said, David, leave that alone. And he keep pointing his hand at me and jeering me. Rudy took off. I tried to leave by walking in the back of the truck. David Henfield reversed the truck onto me. I came from back of the truck, came by the window, and tell him that, look here. David Henfield, by the way, is the younger brother of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Darren Henfield. So Darren, David said to me that he will beat me to death with a baseball bat. Say, I dare call his name in a video. See, this happened before. I called David and all the Henfield's name in a video saying about the contract on the back road, the sidewalk, that Penny died, never got his money for working him to death on the back road. And David burnt my vehicle down. But David did something else. He said, I am gonna kill you, Kai Mills. You don't know what you're getting into. It is just beginning. So I tried to walk in the front of the car to get away from David. I said to David, you already burnt my car down, almost burnt my house down with my mother, and you are threatening my life. I will go to the police station. So I'm trying to go across the car because he wouldn't let me go in the back. He was wasting the truck on me. David pulled the truck up to my leg, front on. I hold my hands up. I said, do what you gotta do. I am never afraid, never scared of you. He said, I could kill you right now if I want to. I said, sure, I'm in the front of the car. So I waited there for a couple of minutes and I move away from the car. David say, you Kai Mills, you will never ever be able to go in the house assembly. I will kill you with a baseball bat. You see, there's one man said this before, Hubert Ingram. Hubert Ingram say, I don't like to be threatened. David and I is nothing. We're not anything. You see, David is an ex-convict. David stabbed his cousin, tried to kill him at a basketball game in Murphy Town. I was the referee. Before Darren Henfield got into the politics, David and I was friends. David believed he's a thug. So when Darren got into the politics, David knew that I was very popular and still is popular. So he tries everything to try to intimidate and to have me put before the courts. They do this every time. So I went to the police station. They said, had the handcuff, the handcuff me tonight. Said David came there and report that I threatened to kill him. I said, I have no reason to threaten to kill David because we don't go down the same lane. The police said that they gotta put me under arrest and put me before the courts. I said, who was David's witness to this event? say he has no witness. I say, I have a, have a witness that was there. There were three of us there and I have a witness. He said, the witness is my friend and my friend cannot give a statement. This is a little bony corporal. I said, surely you don't know the law. I said, if their wife and her husband is in the house and somebody come in to threaten to kill the wife's husband, she can't give a statement? Surely you don't know what you're saying. So after talking with them, we took our statement, my friend took a statement, and he said exactly what I said. That never happened. Kai didn't have a chance to threaten David. David not only threatened him verbally, but he hit him twice with the truck, and I am the witness. They 
didn't want to take that statement because David already had somebody set up to have me put before the courts because threats of debt, as David know, because his buddy is on bail for threats of debt against a police officer. And he know that you can't get any bail for threats of debt. But I have a witness, David had no witness, and this is how they try every time to get Kai before the courts not to run. I want, I say in all of this to North Abaco to let you know how my life has changed. I don't go out at night because people like David, those that is a convict to date, Darren Henfield has given his buddy David and his friend Dusty a contract to clean the government building for $10,000 a month. Everybody know that they have the contract to clean the windows of the government complex in Marshaba. To date, these guys have not cleaned one window. Yet, every month they collect 10,000, the both of them. I am telling this video in case David, see David already burnt my vehicle down. And Inspector Superintendent Ewan, he is one of those white nothing policemen. My hands were burnt, swollen with bubbles from the heat of the flame. David Enfield came in my yard and shut my water off so I cannot use the water to put out my car fire. He's a plumber, so he knows my water system. I went from the scene of the crime. I told the police right then. I said, go up on top of the hill. David is right there. Maybe you could smell the gas. I saw him when he threw the gas in my car and lit it a fire. Ewan took my statement. He said, I'm going to carry you to the clinic. I said, no, I want to go make a statement. Then I'll go to the clinic. Then I'll get my, my uh, uh, report from the clinic. But I want to report this while I am fresh in my mind to let y'all know what David has done to try to kill me and burnt my vehicle down. Today, David Henfield knocked me with his truck twice and run to the police station saying, I don't know where to get this policy from. Whoever comes to the police station first, the other guy is locked up. But I want to show the people of North Abaco, I have nothing to threaten David, to intimidate David. David is an ex-criminal. And I stay away from criminals that riding on the FNM ticket and his, dare, and his brother, Darren Henfield, is the Minister of Foreign Affairs. I will say tonight to Darren Henfield at 7 o'clock tonight, tell your little brother, Darren, he is a disgrace to your name and the FNM that he would try to knock me down right in my yard, right next to me in Grace Avenue and to report me to the police that I, Kai Mills, threaten him. David doesn't wait threatening. But Darren Enfield, talk to that little big eye, little black ugly brother you got, and tell him to stand down. I don't take well to criminals like David Enfield that you give the $10,000 a month contract to clean the government complex to threaten my life. It's unacceptable. And tomorrow, I will show the videos and tell the history of Darren Henfield's brother, Darren, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, having his brother to come to threaten me, to put me before the courts, to try to tint my name and have me lock up because they feel that I am a threat. And I am a threat because when I run, Darren Henfield can win. But David, needs to stand down and don't threaten Kai Mills. Enough is enough. You're live with Kai, late evening, just coming from the Marshall Police Station to report Darren Henfield's brother, David Henfield, for threats of death against Kai Mills' life because I dare step to represent the people of North Abaco. Kai cares. That's why he's bringing this late message to the people of North Abaco. 
and the world that David, Darren Henfield's brother, is a criminal, a convict, and threatened my life today at my home, Kai Case.